Well, we all go through it and it's not fun for anyone. The awkward stages of puberty, but just imagine a six year old going through that. The number of kids that age going through it is increasing. It's called precocious puberty. 10 News anchor Allison Croft shows you what could be pushing young girls into this difficult stage of life sooner than expected. I was diagnosed at seven. I actually began my period, my, my menstrual cycle at seven. Amber Brigham says at that age, she was also five feet tall. While she doesn't really remember the diagnosis, she does remember how it felt. Seeing that I was different than everyone else, and that was extremely hard. Can we take a look at that? Dr. Sarega Bolapali with USF Health says precocious puberty is starting to become more common. The age of earlier puberty in general has just moved. Um, it's become earlier and earlier over the recent decades. Um, we are seeing up to 8 to 20 percent of girls that do have slightly earlier puberty, puberty even around age 7. Amber never learned why her body started puberty early. But recent studies have shown chemicals in cosmetics, soaps, and personal care products could be a culprit. These certain ingredients, um, they're hormonally active. Um, they're also called endocrine disrupting chemicals, or EDCs, and they do exactly what it sounds like. They disrupt the delicate balance of hormones. Um, most specifically, they act like estrogen. So that's, that's what pushes the girls into puberty at a younger age. Micah Knapp is a registered dietitian and nutritionist. She says to avoid using products with ingredients like parabens and phthalates. When young girls are using these products that contain phthalates and parabens, um, these hormonally active compounds, it's acting like estrogen. It's increasing their levels of estrogen in the body, which is what catapults them into physical and hormonal changes. Some studies link different cancers to early puberty, but Dr. Bolapali believes it goes back to genetics. I think it's really important for children to go to their annual well checkups, be evaluated so that the first signs of puberty are um, checked out and noticed and so that too much time doesn't progress so that something more serious gets missed. Amber took injections once a month until she was 11. It paused her puberty. Now she suffers from ovarian cysts. I don't know how much of what I experience now is because of precocious puberty or because of the medications. I'm not entirely sure. And there are a lot of questions about what health issues people could have later in life. And I saw a lot of those raised in several groups on Facebook for precocious puberty. Allison, I have a daughter mm -hmm. and I also have a son. Should I be worried about him too? Yeah, well, so our story focused on a woman and we spoke to a woman about this, but the doctors and the experts that we talked to, they also talked to us about boys. In those cases, the estrogen actually displaces some of the testosterone, which would then cause some delay in the male signs of puberty. So yes, yeah. something to think about with your son, just as you would with your daughter. But again, for this story, we just focused on a woman. And we talked to the experts about males and females, and you can hear those full interviews at WTSP.com.